Cheryl's got a hankering for uh, fancy quesadillas tonight. And so I got this chuck roast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a different way to make pulled beef today. I've done this in the crock pot. I've done it in an instant pot. Today I'm gonna do it on the Traeger and I'm actually gonna smoke it first. So I'm gonna take this really nice piece of chuck roast and uh, we're gonna throw it straight on the grill uh, for about an hour to smoke it. Uh, and then I'm basically gonna braise it in a sauce for about two to three hours until uh, the meat gets real tender and pulls apart and we can make some really fancy quesadillas. So that is Saturday's dinner. Okay, so the first step I did is basically I put um, a, a rub on the meat um, and now it's ready to go. So we're just gonna, just gonna, we're gonna manhandle this. Actually, we're gonna open the door first because I only have one hand right now. There's the Traeger, there's the piece of meat. We're gonna grab this piece of meat just like this. We're gonna walk it right out here. We're going to simply put that piece of meat right on the grate and just let it smoke for an hour. You want a temperature of about anywhere from 250, you know, maybe to 275. I like 250 for this. Mine runs a little hotter. We'll see how it does. I'm using some hickory pellet pellets today. Um, I like them. It provides a lot of flavor. They're good hardwood for smoking with. You're going to cut up your vegetables. Uh, I always start with onions. Um, you're going to basically dice everything. Uh, peppers, your choice. Uh, in this case, I used pasilla peppers. Uh, red pepper and some jalapeno, but you can use a lot of different pepper combinations. Um, just stick to the more flavorful ones. Uh, grocery stores can be helpful with picking out the, the most flavorful ones. Uh, like I said, I chop them all up into a fine dice um, and then go ahead and throw some olive oil in your, uh, I like a high-sided dish for this. Uh, you can toss your veggies in, uh, stir them up and kind of push them back down. And basically you want to saute these until they're soft, about five minutes or so, uh, giving it kind of a constant stir to move it around. Then you're gonna make the base of this sauce, which uh, I use some beef bouillon in it since it's a beef-centric dish. Um, so a couple of teaspoons of beef bouillon, uh, about two cups worth. And then you're gonna, you're gonna find some Mexican-style tomatoes with peppers in them. I used ones with hatch chili peppers in it. Throw some lime juice in there and uh, again, give it a stir. Uh, then you're gonna add some chili powder and you know, kind of to taste. Um, a little bit of cumin, again, to taste. And then uh, add a little Mexican oregano and that's uh, got a unique flavor. Add your beef stock and again, give it a stir all around. Okay. So at some point you're going to, uh, in about an hour in, you're gonna run out here and go get your, well, that's what it's gonna look like about an hour after smoking. So you're gonna grab this thing, not with your bare hands this time, pick it up, throw it in the roasting pan there and we're gonna turn this thing up to about 300. Okay, we're gonna take this inside with us. We're gonna take this out just for a second, throw it on the uh, cutting board here. Basically, I'm gonna cut this thing into four or five equal sized chunks. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut it like this. First. And then we're gonna cut it like this. Throw you back in there. Put me back in here. We'll cut you like that, that, and that. And that is what's gonna look like. All right. Then you're gonna take your sauce and you're just gonna pour it over the meat like this all right all right so this is what you're going to be cooking for the next three hours 
on the trigger. But we're gonna actually cover this bad boy up in foil. Okay, we're gonna check on our meat here, see what's going on. All right. This is what we're looking at right now. What we're gonna do is flip this meat over. Already starting to, whoa, got some juice running over here. It's okay, not a bad thing. over just like that all right I'm just gonna throw some more sauce up on top of them okay I'm gonna retuck that okay it's been some hours now and uh, I think we're probably done here but let's check it out just have a look see what's going on here inside let it cool and then we're going to pull it for pulling the beef you want to allow it to rest a little bit this allows the fibers to relax and it just kind of falls apart for you uh, I use a tong and a fork to pull it apart for quesadillas uh, it's really basic I just load them up with some cheese and I'm gonna take that filling whatever filling you like some people like black beans some people like refried beans in this case we took this pulled beef and I'm just gonna kinda spread it around the quesadilla evenly. I do my quesadillas maybe a little thicker than most, um, but I like that cheese to kinda fall down there into the filling and kind of glue the whole thing together, so to speak. Add a little more cheese to the top, and then I grab another tortilla and cover it all up, and head on over to the pan where I'm gonna Cook the quesadilla up. This is the tricky part, loading it up without spilling cheese all over the place. Basically, I like that cheese to heat all the way through so it's easy to flip. Sometimes I use a plate the first time. Get a nice, evenly brown texture. And then I cut mine up into small triangles. In this case, we're feeding the whole family. So it's easier just to cut them up into small, easy triangles and let people put whatever they want on them sour cream salsa hot sauce whatever you want and you can kind of see as i'm cutting them you want them i let them rest a little bit so they're crunchy and easy to cut through and then uh, you can kind of see the interior of them with uh, the beef and the cheese all melted together scrumptiously and finally the taste test i Enjoyed mine with some green chili salsa, which tasted wonderful with the Mexican pulled beef. Cheers.